On this chart, you can see on the left-hand side there, we have profitability. So how do we increase profits? And on the bottom here, you can see we have the percentage of time working on the business rather than in it. So how can we work less time in the business and spend more time working on the business as an entrepreneur? And so the very first stage that most people start out at is called a parakeet. A parakeet's typically a generalist, somebody that has low fees. And I say that you know they, they often charge $100 a month to pay, play kind of calculator games. Most people that start their businesses in accounting, they start out as a parakeet. If you don't have any training, if you don't have any help, if you don't have any mentors, it's kind of the obvious way to start and it's really the easiest. But you're typically a generalist if you're a parakeet. So, you know, you provide really any service that someone will pay for that really drives low fees. And the fees are low often because, to be honest, the value is low. Parakeets really generally aren't respected by their clients. If you're at this level, it's easy to get out of this level. And so a confidant is really someone who might still be a generalist, but at least they've figured out how to garner high fees. So they're able to communicate the value of doing the baseline services in accounting, and they're actually doing strategy sessions. This is really the most important stage of the journey. You know, it's the difference between enjoying the business rather than kind of seeing it as a pain. Biggest transformation is that you have high fees. So you've started to understand like the inherent value in the work that you're providing. And so even if it's just for the baseline accounting services, you know how to display that value to someone. The next level is an executive. I, I would say most people don't make it to the executive stage, but it's very powerful to do so. And this is where you've actually chosen a niche. You also have high fees, which are now even higher. And then you've also nailed down your message market offer. The journey from being a confidant to an executive, it is a difficult one because you know you have to really relinquish your ego. Just because you're doing well doesn't mean you can't be doing better. And so that brings us to the last stage here, which is the entrepreneur stage. And this is when you've finally gotten things to click. You've nailed the niche market. You also have completely nailed the fees and the service offerings. And right now you're just focused on scale, hiring, acquisitions of other companies that are also focused on the niche. And so this is really the capstone level for an accountant, finally becoming an entrepreneur. So that really is the transformation. And as you move up here, this will increase your profitability by being better at the business design, the business strategy, by picking services that you're gonna be able to actually charge a good fee for that aren't gonna take you that much time that you can streamline in a niche and actually designing an intentional business rather than just taking any you know, buddy that walks through the door.